Hi everyone, it is Miss Elaine from the Firehouse Art Center and I am actually not at the firehouse right now, I am in my kitchen because I am going to show you the sneak peek for the kids art kit that we are going to have available at the Longmont Farmers Market tomorrow. Um, and the market's up, open uh, tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So you can pick up your kit. Um, between those times, obviously supplies may run out. We're gonna try and make enough so that uh, each kid can take one home. Um, but we are gonna be there every weekend um, with a make and take or a take and make craft for kids that goes along with uh, the vegetables that you can find at the market that week. So this week we're actually doing a salt dough radish. Um, radishes are actually a vegetable that um, you know, is harvesting right now. So you can find them at the market. Um, and we have a kit that includes everything that you'll need for your salt dough radish uh, craft. So in your kit, you're gonna find a bag of flour and salt already mixed up along with directions of how to make your um, salt dough radish. So I am just gonna go ahead and shake this up. It's already pretty well mixed. Um, also in your kit, you will have a little um, cup filled with a uh, red liquid watercolor. Uh, this is not food coloring. Um, I mean, it's kind of like food coloring, but you can't eat it. Um, salt dough, you can eat, but it tastes really bad. So I recommend you don't, um, but it's really just flour, salt, and water. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of this liquid, uh, liquid water color. Um, it's similar to food coloring, it's just not food grade. So I don't re recommend eating these radishes but um, I recommend eating the radishes you can find at the market. So um, in the direction it says, you can add your salt dough mixture to either one quarter cup of water, or you can add one half of the little Dixie cup that we're gonna include in all the kits. Um, but it's kind of easy to measure it in a measuring cup if you have one at home. Um, but yeah, so I have a quarter cup of water in here. And then what you do is you're gonna open this very carefully because this actually does stain. So just be really careful. Um, you know, maybe have an adult help you open it and you're gonna pour it in like that. So as you can see, like I got all my fingers. Um, liquid watercolor, obviously it's water-based. But for some reason, this liquid watercolor is super concentrated. So it will stain your fingers. You just have to give it a good wash with some soap and water. Okay, so I'm gonna swirl this around and be really careful that you don't spill that uh, watercolor on your kitchen counter. Or if you do, you know, just wipe it up um, so that your parents don't get mad at you. So uh, I'm gonna take my flour and salt mixture and I'm gonna pour it in. And I, I kind of feel like this is cooking, you know, it's kind of like cooking. So I, I guess I decided that I would film it in my kitchen um, instead of at the firehouse, but okay. So I put it into my cup and I'm actually gonna turn the screen so that you can see what it looks like now. Okay, cool. So, and I am just stirring it up um it looks really cool and once it gets all stirred up I'm gonna reach in there I'm back. Okay, so now I have my salt dough. And if you look, it's a nice pretty pink color. I'm gonna roll it and I uh, encourage you to find some radishes at the market. Um, with this kit, you'll probably be able to make about two or maybe even three, um, but we have uh, stems and leaves for two. Um, so radishes can either be long or they can be round. Um, but they come in a variety of shapes. When I used to have radishes uh, in my garden, I had the long skinny ones. Um, so 
you can just shape it so that it is shaped like a radish. And if it sticks to your hand, like as you can see, there's really nothing sticking to my hands right now. That means that you have uh, a good amount of, amount of moisture in your salt dough. Like you don't want it to be too dry where it's crumbly and gross, but you also don't want it to be too wet where it's like sticking to your hands. Um, I try to get the measurements pretty spot on, uh, but if you, you know, you can always add a little bit more water. So I would actually short it of the water. So like you can always add more water, um, but you can never subtract the water. So if you end up with salt dough that's a little bit too wet, you can, um, you know, ask your parent um, whether you can add a little bit of flour or salt to your mixture. Um, but here is my radish right here. And included in the kit is uh, our pipe cleaners and tissue paper. And so this craft is actually really easy. Once you make your cute radish, um, you can actually put the leaves on it. Um, so what you do is you can get super fancy with this too. So if you wanted to, you can take your green piece of paper and cut fancy leaves. And then take your pipe cleaner and glue it right in the center and then stick it into your radish like that. And then let it dry overnight. Where is my camera? <laughs> So you could let it dry overnight like that, or what you can do if you don't have scissors or you know, um, you're less concerned about how the leaves look, you can just pinch your uh, tissue paper in like that and bend your pipe cleaner and kind of fluff your leaves and give it a little bit of a twist like that, and then stick it in to your radish. So that it looks like that. Um, these will dry overnight. If you put them out in the sun, they will dry even faster. If you want to bake them in the oven, you can also do that. Uh, before you bake them though, take your pipe cleaner and your leaves out so they don't catch fire in the oven. Um, and then just make your hole and then you can glue your leaves in after um, you bake it. And all of this is in the directions for your free kit at the farmer's market uh, that you can pick up tomorrow between 8 and 1 p.m. Uh, we hope that we see you at the farmer's market. Uh, and uh, I thank the Longmont Farmer's Market for supporting arts and creativity in the community and letting us come and share these fun uh, farmer's market crafts with you. Uh, so all the directions are in the kit. You bake it at 250 degrees for one hour and then take it out. Uh, then you will uh, put some glue on the bottom of your stem and stick it back in. And uh, you are ready to go with your radish. It kind of looks like a long pink carrot. Um, right now it's really still soft, so I can smush it. And like, if you actually have seen radishes that are more round, um, you know, you can shape it like that. So, and you should have enough in your kit to make two radishes. Um, and that's pretty much it. So come see the Firehouse Heart Center booth at the Longmont Farmer's Market. Come pick up your salt dough radish kit there. It's free. Thank you to the Longmont Farmer's Market for, um, allowing us to provide these to the community for free. Uh, once again, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, as supplies last. Uh, I think we have like 120 kits, so hopefully we'll have enough. The weather is supposed to be nice tomorrow, so um, come on down and uh, say hi to the Firehouse Art Center booth and uh, we'll give you one of these guys to take home uh, so you can make one for yourself. Thanks guys, bye.